Yo guys, what's up? Shatter here and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. So, since the update, I haven't been working on this. As you know, since last week's update video thingy. And, um, I actually haven't even think, thought about if any of the new blocks that came in will find a use on this ship. So, well, I guess I will have to kind of decide this on the fly. Anyway... What do we do today? I think today I will start um, building this upper part here, basically, where <clears throat> the, uh, let's say the control center is going to be. I think that is the best way to describe that. So I think what I should do first, I, I should probably try and get this uh, this stuff here set up, you know. So that we have uh, the at least the uh, the outlines of uh, what we're working with here. So we're doing we're we're gonna do that. Let's at least put them down. You know, not necessarily need to <clears throat> weld them, but that's okay. So. Actually, I've been, I have had a lot of fun with the update so far. Um, my favorite block by, by a long shot is the exhaust block. Because it's just so fun to use. I, I built a, a kind of... A, on the new planet, the, um, I'm, I forget the name of the planet. This new desert planet thingy. I built like a, a, a little fort there. And I, I made a wall. And the wall had these exhausts on top of it. And they were shooting out flames, basically. And um, the exhausts were then triggered in different time frames by, uh, by timers. And that looked amazing. Especially in the night during a dust storm. That looked fantastic. So, yeah. My new most favorite block, I think. <clears throat> and also, I just remembered what we, what I said last time, that we wanted to do this kind of like outward curvature here. I think was one of the, the things. So this kind of thing. Maybe it's going to be even a little bit smoother. Not 100% sure. But yeah, something along those lines. Although, if I want to have a control tower here, control center... And this will obviously have to be, um, like, glass or something. So I'll have to think about that. Let me, um, <clears throat> let me just put these forward now. I'm also not 100% sure these are just going to be straight. Also, this might, I might make it this wide instead of this over here. Like that. So we have a little bit more usage. Space usage. Um, so if we want to have a window here. Hmm. Let's see. We'll probably will use these one by two. Um, these. These windows. We've put these in here. Okay. That would mean we will have to put a block here. This one. Like so. I think. And then we have the window in the middle. There's going to be like the control tower seat, observing what ships come in, what ships go out, stuff like that. Yes, something along those lines. Hmm. Well, we'll have to see how it works with the the rest up here. How the, uh, how this cascades into um, this uh, lower part. Let's actually start welding this for now. And see how that is going to work. Because right now I'm not 100% sure how this is going to look, honestly. 
Because technically, as you can see, we technically have this. Um, this uh, design where this goes inward a little bit. Now, that won't work with that kind of window system that we have going right now. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, let's just pull this down to here. Let's let's redo this part down here. Let's let's just put this away, and then think of it freshly. Try to figure out how we do this. So we have all of this. Right, and then on this side, the same thing. And also, we'll have, uh, essentially, the, uh, the blocks right here that need to be there. Otherwise, there will be a hole breach, so to speak, you know? So these technically need to be there. Like so. Alright, let me get some new stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll, again, I've, I've played a, a lot around with the uh, the update. I've been I've been quite happy with it. Although to be fair, some of the the exhaust kind of made a few problems for me. But then again, I was using them in a modded save, so eh, it could also be mods that caused the problems. Not hundred percent sure on that one. So yeah. Um, right. So this one goes here, and then. Here we go with these bad boys. Oh, ah, Tiki. God damn it, Tiki. Oh, I would love a Tiki now. Tiki drink. <laughs> there you go. Hmm. All right. So let's say we flare out in the same way, like so. Make this little outwards flaring uh, protrusion here. Well, what we technically could do is to still put the windows here, but... Oh, wait, no, they still would not be airtight if you would basically put them the other way around. You know what I mean? Like this. But yeah, there you have still the same problem. Hmm. What happens if we start that flaring out process earlier? Like up here already. What happens if we do that? And basically right here start this and then go like that. That leaves us with a lot more space. And that also looks kind of interesting from a design point of view. So I think we'll go with that and see what that leaves us with. I think that actually gives us exactly what we need. I think. Well, kind of. And then, if we do the windows here. Hmm. We would have to change these into these blocks. And then it would work. I might even do double windows, just so it's a bit more stable. But yeah, like this it would work. So we would have the windows here, and then we can do a double set of windows, like, right here again. Or a normal one here, and then backwards fit it onto that, um, a straight one, just like that. So we'd still have double windows, but it takes off, uh, it takes away less space, I think. Yeah, I think that's, that's how we're going to do that, I believe. Let me just uh, grab a few... Uh, a few of these uh, bulletproof glasses and a few girders. And then we'll try to fit this stuff in here. So the first one, the inner window is going to be like so. And then the outer window is going to be like so. 
Yes. That works, I think. I'll obviously have way too little material. But yeah. And then... Oh, and then this one, I uh, I have an idea. Where, it, you know, the, the way this is cascading outwards. So, how about we start this one even... Even earlier. So, this one then protrudes... So basically, it's kind of like an inverse, inverse thing from what we have up here. Here, this one is the the foremost block that comes out the first, and then it basically starts to invert, like here. That could look interesting, I think. Let's try that. Okay, so let's start to work on this, shall we? Um, you know what? I'm gonna do the inner ones first. Right, that's good. Yeah, we need we may more more material, obviously. But yeah. So let me try this real quick. So if we put it like so and then like this. Hmm, this will look very, very strange, but let's let's see where, where this goes. Alright. Maybe we stumbled on accidentally um accidental architectural genius here, I don't know. Probably not, but maybe. Okay, let's weld this. Oh. I think that kind of works. I'm probably only going to do it with this here. And then these two, they're going to run their course. But I think that works. Kind of. It's weird, but I think it kind of works. So, yeah, we're going to continue on this path, I believe. There we go, another load. Okay, still need a little bit more, but we're almost there. Right, and then we'll just put in uh, the necessary blocks here to make it tight. But yeah, that is kind of cool. I like it. I do like that. It's uh, an interesting design. I think that works quite nicely. Uh, let's get another bunch of those. And then we should be done with the windows at least. Hopefully. Right. Like so. Yeah, this is kind of cool because then this is also a little little bit sheltered, you know. I like it. It looks complex. Not too complex, but it has a certain complexity that, that gives it kind of a charm almost. I like that. Also, I know this is kind of departing a little bit from the original design of the, uh, the Vive controller. That is absolutely true, but... I think that is what I had in mind in the first place, that it might, you know, uh, change design-wise. The Vive controller was a good baseline, let's say, but it was never intended to be 100%... Um... Wait, what? Why didn't that... Ooh, I think there is something disconnected here. Am I wrong? Yeah, I think that one... That one was not connected to the ship somehow. Maybe it's just me, but it looked like it wasn't connected to the ship. Hmm. Strange. Okay, let's try this again. Right. Okay. Let's try this again and see if it stays connected this time. Shall we? <laughs> okay. So, like this. Then... 
Now there's something weird going on here, but what is it? Something is not connected how it supposedly should be connected. If I weld this... Oh, and I'm running out of plates. But yeah, I, I think there is something wrong and that kind of scares me. <laughs> because normally if there's problems like that with um, placing blocks, that means something is has come loose and that is not good. Although... Yeah, see, that is not connected, is it? But what does that mean? Hold on, so this is obviously connected to the, the lower part. This one is not connected to this one, I don't think. Right? I think that was the problem. I think there was some weirdness here. Yes, I think so. Huh? What is going on? Yes, yeah, something is afoot here and I don't like it. Inventory full. Yeah, yeah, there's something weird going on here. Okay, I just have to get a few things out of my inventory here. Okay. Yeah, I think these two... Yeah, see, this one is not connected. This one was just floating in midair. Now this is connected, that is fine. But... Uh, I am really not quite sure what is going on here. Let me just let me just get rid of a few things here. Let's build it from the ground up because the ground is obviously that is that is connected. That has to be connected, otherwise it wouldn't work, right? So that goes like that, and then like that, and that is connected, is it? That is indeed connected. That is good. That's 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 a step up. And that one is also good. Right? Yes. No, see, there is a... What? Huh? This whole middle section is loose. How did I manage that? I mean, seriously, how did I manage that? That is impressive. There must have been something that I cut. That was I, I was not supposed to cut. <laughs> that is kind of funny, actually. I kind of like that. Okay. Um, right, so... Let me just start these right here. So these then, sh these are now connected again. So that's good. Yeah, look, there's like the inner part of this is loose. That is so weird. But just, for example, this side is loose, but this side is connected. That is so weird. I, I don't know how I did that, honestly. I, I'm confused. 100 points to anybody in the comments who spotted where the error happened. I I, I, I really would like to know because this... <laughs> oh, man. The joys of space engineers. Ah, oh, okay. I need to build a few blocks, otherwise I cannot pick all of this crap up again. Right. go that should be fine and now <laughs> I was for a second there I thought have I accidentally completely disconnected the lower part of the ship you know like the whole part but then I realized no the whole back part is welded that cannot come loose so yeah this 
<laughs> I I really don't know how I managed to get this weird in between part um, loose. How I managed that? That is that that's freaking magical. I mean, seriously, man. <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay. Let me pull this up, and then yeah, let's all of these, of course. I guess there was probably some problem where these upper, this row here was only connected by one block and I probably removed that at one point and then everything got screwed up. Oh, probably when I, when I killed these and then decided to go with, um, this is essentially what I'm doing now, but now it's properly connected. When I decided to do this, that's probably when it got loose, I have the feeling. Oh, darn. Oh man, that is that is kind of funny actually. <laughs> Could you imagine if I accidentally severed the whole thing? I know it's basically possible to put them back together again with merge blocks, but it is annoying as hell to do that. Especially with large things like that. With large ships part. And if you're not in creative, I mean creative it's easy. You just copy paste the th stuff onto each other. That works, but here, that's a bit more a problem. <laughs> okay. So this is going to be the front of the ship. I like that. I like the look of that. Honestly, I really dig it. And that leaves us with... Um, that would be okay from the, the, the size. I think you have enough space in here. You know, just put these two down so we have equal blockage on both sides like that. Yeah, and then you can have a seat here that is basically checking if any vessels come in, you know, like the, the, the tower control. And yeah, and then this, these just go up like that. Oh yeah, see there's, is that another loose block or is that just randomly placed here? Oh no, they, they're supposed to be here. Whoops! <laughs> Go back there. We need you there. Right, so let me just start to put a few more blocks in there to kind of get the form a bit better. Let me see. Uh, so at least one needs to be here. That one can go, I believe. Yes. And then we can just... Let's, let's just make this row for now, like so. Because now, what I want to do is I want to pull this one down to where it needs to be. And see how that looks if we pull that whole section downwards. Um, there we go, another one. Oh, that, oh, that merges up perfectly with the back here. Oh, I like it. Oh, that was the wrong block. But yes, that is unintentionally genius, actually. <laughs> Sometimes that happens if you're designing things. Suddenly you're like, oh my god, that was good. <laughs> I think that works. Let me weld this strain here real quick. Okay, and then obviously we'll have to put in the plates here so that we don't have any uh, any leaks. Let's put in at least the ones that are necessary and then we can see what we do. Maybe we can even play a little bit with the kind of room that we have on the inside. But we'll, we'll have to see when we design the interior for this. We're still a long way away from that. I mean, there's still a lot of design choices to be made for this one. All 
right. Yeah, that works. And you know what? I technically, for example, I could then start placing like thrusters here as well, depending on how the construction continues. But there is potential here for uh, interesting design choices, I think. Okay, let me place these down. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll have to see if they actually go all the way down or if they just run into a, f a flat wall here at the end. Mm, probably. Probably we'll just run into that. Yeah, most likely. Okay, let me get a few more bits and bobs here. And then we'll uh, try to finalize at least this part of the design. All right, let's do it. All right, let me just uh, put these in here to plug up the holes. Because like this, we'll have uh, at least a sense what minimally is required to make this a uh, airtight room. Which will then give us an indicator on how much space we have as an interior, you know? So I think that's nice. So let me... You know what? Uh, let's just mirror this here. First, and then it's going to be easier to place the things inside. There we go. You know, I just was just thinking about what, what, how, how far into this project would we be if we made everything out of heavy armor? <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, man! Just the amount of material we would have to use to make that much um, heavy armor blocks. I, I don't even think we would have that much material. We would have probably had to go and refill several times over already. I would imagine. Yeah, I really like it. I really like that look. That kinda kinda looks very cool. Okay. So now let's mirror this whole thing on this side as well. Boom. There you go. Energy low. All right, and then the same again with the, uh, the blocks. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is taking shape. I like it. Right in front of my eyes, it is taking shape. I mean, down at the bottom here, where it goes into the flat wall, we could also play with a few elements, kind of like doing something like this, or I don't know, but... I think it's fine. Going into the flat shape. I think that's okay, for the most part. Um... That's weird. Why do we have this block here? On the other side, why do we have this block here? I'm confused. Why is this block here? <laughs> Placed a few unnecessary things. Okay. Right. Excellent. Yes, look at this. Oh, this we have to weld as well, otherwise it will not be complete yet. Okay, let me just fill up one more time and then we're gonna be finished for today. That was a good good catch-up. I mean, we missed last week because of the update thing that I did, so it's good to have a bit of catch-up, I think. 
But yeah, I kind of like how this is going, design-wise. I'm not 100% sure how the interior is gonna look yet, because there's a lot of edges in there, a lot of diagonals to work with, or that are hard to work with. So, yeah. We'll, we'll have to, you know, do with what's due, so to speak. But I think, for the most part, this is pretty cool. So, well, to that. And then, for the front part, so from this, this part here, that's still debatable how that's gonna look. Is this gonna be, for example, are we gonna do something like... Oh, new blocks, hello. Um... Like so, where we're just gonna go into a a a, uh, a slope. I'm just gonna run along here, or are we maybe I don't know, just gonna make this flat? It's not hundred percent sure yet. I think we still have a bit of options there. So yes. Okay, let me just spend all the plates that I have, and then we're done. But yeah, this, this already gives us good scale of the room. I like it. Oh yeah, also we have to kind of um, put these in here. The, the plates in here so we can see what kind of room we're working with. Like so. Yeah, let's let's go the, all, the whole way up. Oh, if, let's see. I had to stop myself there because if I cut that... There would have, again, been a floating piece somewhere out there. It's one of the hardest things sometimes to, to stop yourself from cutting something in a situation like that. Because there's so many times I've accidentally cut off, like, huge parts of my ship. In creative, it's even worse. Because there is just one click and it's gone. The connection piece, you know? Here, at least, I have to grind and slash weld things before they come or go but in creative it's one click and suddenly a whole part of your ship is drifting but yeah i like it i really like this i mean this is probably going to be filled up or be used by something maybe we're going to store some timer blocks in there that we'll need for the lighting thing that i have in mind for inside but yeah this is kind of cool i like this this, this is an interesting design element, I would say. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.